Hello again, everyone. Sir Doc here with the Doc Side, coming to you with another unboxing. This one is for the card game Mokoru. Uh, hoping I pronounce that correctly, I actually have no idea. Uh, this is a Japanese style uh, card game that was uh, done on Kickstarter. And it not only is a card game, uh, but really it's a dexterity game. And uh, so made for multiple players. Um, pretty much, I guess you could do uh, um, five or six different players if you want to. Uh, but it's just a game that you can also have fun just by yourself if you want to uh, check out your own uh, dexterity uh, with different things. So, um, again, a Kickstarter game. This arrived uh, at my home just today, actually. So getting a chance to to uh, look at this uh, game in a little more detail and share it with you. So uh, what's kind of fun is it's um, good good packaging, good presentation uh, with this. It's nice, uh, good thick cardboard that it has, and it does have um, little magnetic flaps on here that, that latch tightly. So by pulling that up, the game box just opens up like that. And uh, so you can see, uh, it just forms a nice, good, presentation package with it on top i get a uh, little uh, thing saying thanks for buying our game here's a 15 percent off code if i need to reorder um, and then the instructions are instead of a booklet you've got this fold out roadmap uh, three tier uh, <laughs> that's quite quite a bit more than i can get on the camera uh, so anyways, it looks like uh, English on one side, and actually it's uh, the whole thing is in English, so, so there you go. It's, uh, I did read through this previously just to get a, a sense of it. For the most part, it's good English, but it is a bit broken. Uh, the person who probably translated this from Japanese, maybe not uh, a perfect English speaker, but you can get the gist of everything that they're asking for uh, by, by going through... Uh, the rules here is it's pretty pretty simple for the most part for the game and I'll try to just explain as we open up the box here what we're looking at. Uh, so this is the uh, little game board that you have and this is what you're gonna keep score with. So pull that thing out there. Um, so just the the game logo and as you turn it over this is how you track the scores from the different people so these are the different belts uh that you're going from white belt all the way up to black belt excuse me that was my cat uh, aka godspilla um rummaging around where she's not supposed to be uh trying to get yourself all the way up to master so as you you do certain tasks based on the cards you draw you get to move your little um your little meeple up or your little ninja or whatever you want to call the, these little guys um up to a different belt color so we can have that sitting up there and then yeah these are the little people that you get to track what you're going so six different colors meaning you can have you know six different individuals um with you they're all kind of in their the little wrappers can we get these open yeah they are kind of tape shut there so you get a better better idea of kind of get some focus on some of these guys kind of what they look like so you would have all your little figures sitting up here oh my gosh these things are so tiny i can't see what i'm doing uh anyways you, you get the gist of what's going on pick your color have them have them sitting on the board Take, take a look at that guy there. So, and they all have different different faces. Um, they are textured as well. Um, it just make, makes it kind of nice. It's a good, good, again, good presentation. I think they did a good job with the uh, the sculpting and the, the game itself just gives it a lot more character. And so as you uh, get your tasks, again, you can move up your different belts. And so the first person that gets to master wins the game. Um, you have a whole bunch of cards here and these cards are basically, you're drawing them and they're giving you 
different tasks of things to do. Uh, let me go ahead and open these up off camera so I don't slice my, my hand off. So taking a look at um, so some of these cards, yeah, so it'll say a trick and you're drawing a trick card and so steal a trick and so you could be stealing a trick from from somebody else to do and you want to be able to do tricks because you want to be able to move up the uh, uh the ladder basically but oh great these are all like in some some kind of order uh you know duel meaning that you can duel with with another player um here you go so you get things like like this can you guys see that is it uh coming in okay uh, where you actually have to make your little, um, um, actually, I don't even know what you call these things, but uh, we'll call them little, little totems, little poles. Um, they're designed to roll back and forth, and I'll show you those because we have them in the box. And so you want to be able to start and and recreate what they're having you do here in this this trick or this task. And if you are successful in doing it, and there are different levels you can, you know, as a beginner... Um, you've got three tries and you can use your hand to stop the thing as they go, uh, all the way down to using like only one finger to stop. And, and again, this will make more sense as we, we open up the other things, but, um, yeah, so go, some tricks are really difficult to do. Some are really easy to do. And so based on the luck of the draw, you could be moving up. There's pretty quick cause you drew a bunch of very easy tasks to do, or you could be really struggling because everything you got was required a master level of skill. So these are what uh, these guys look like. So they're, yeah, I don't even know what shape you would call them. Um, you know, somewhat bowling pin shaped, uh, but they're, they're symmetrical all the way around. And so you've got, you have four of these in, in this particular game uh, in the package that I got. And there's some that you have many more to work with. You know, if you so desire, and just because they are different colors it has nothing to do with the colors of of these guys here. These are strictly just individual markers. Um, when you're doing your test, you can actually choose to use any of these uh, uh, various things. So we'll just put these out here, and then so you can just take a look. So um, so as these go, based on the tricks that you're trying to do. You're just going to tap the top of these things. Whoops. Let's try it again. And you'll see them that they just go and they continue to roll. So it's kind of crazy engineering that they've done with these. Uh, so trying to do this on camera will be almost impossible. Uh, but you can use your hand to try to stop it and say you want to go just a single uh, uh, one revolution or, or 180. You know, <laughs> try, try to stop it. Nope. Nope. Yeah, so you got three three tries to do it, and if you're successful, you get to move your guy up. Holy cow. This is not good. Maybe I'll just stop embarrassing myself. There we go. We do with that hand. Um, but sometimes you say, well, we got to make it go twice, so we'll – and then try to stop it like that. Uh, or I need to stop it, and I need to come back. There we go. A little more. You get the idea of kind of what you're doing. So – Using your whole hand to stop it when it gets to the right location is just a matter of dexterity and, and trying to get the timing down pat. Um, it's a lot more difficult than it looks because, uh, again, timing uh, and making sure you hit things just right. And if you hit it at an angle, it just kind of swipes it off uh, of you. But um, to make it more challenging, you can say, no, you got to do it with three fingers or only two fingers or only, uh, God forbid, one finger and try to become an expert at, at doing that. But... Uh, this guy actually has, you hear that? Something loose in there. I don't know if that's meant to be like that or if it slows the, slows the rotation down. Maybe that makes it, maybe that's what we're looking at. Maybe each one has some different, uh, has a slower rotation or something. I didn't see where it said that, but... It seemed like I was being a little more successful. Well, anyway, so there you go. Kind of getting the hang of that a little bit. Wow. All right. That was like five in a row. Um, 
so just a, a curious, oh, and there's, and then it came with like this little, little mini one that's actually engraved with uh, the name Mokoru on it. And to be honest with you, I don't know what this is about. This might just be a kind of, kind of a gimmick thing, um, you know, that you can just have some, something that's fun. Can you guys see, see that, that it's just, it's not a sticker. It's actually engraved and, and feels like this is actually wood, um, with little rubber rubber pads and um, yeah, this still will go a little bit, but it's so so tiny and light. It's really really difficult to get it to go up. Man, okay, there we go. So that's me making a fool of myself with this game. Um, but then you know, again, as you go, you might pull up a card that says, "Okay, well, we got to try." doing doing as a square so i might do there whoops and if i screw up i have to there we go got a square so i would have to start over and i'd have three tries to do it if i get it within those three tries my little guy gets to move up one of those and then you just go around the table taking turns so there's nothing too extravagant about it it's easy easy to do easy to learn I think this would be a pretty fun game uh, for most families to do. And I think, you know, you could be laughing at people like I laugh at myself just trying to get the, the darn thing to go. Um, you can make it so the kids can use their hands and the adults have to use, you know, two fingers or something if you want to make it more challenging and, and even like that. So anyways, that's uh, that's the game of itself. Um uh, I will throw a link on to the Kickstarter uh, campaign so you can kind of see more about that from that aspect. And if I can find some other videos of people who have this game or playing it, I will let you know as well. But uh, I am looking forward to playing this with some family and friends. So uh, until next time, we'll talk to you all real soon. Take care.